Live from Planet Velaka, the Deep Space Vanguard have been deployed to reclaim the Thara system for the Federation. We expect the best. Now show us the best, troopers! Good capture, Brimstone One. Next objective is now available. Rearm and move to the next objective location. Fire out. Vulture One is RTB. Payload is on the deck. Alright, we need to advance and support our guys. Playing the sniper, we have a couple of nice tools for this. We have a jetpack that will uh, get us up on the high ground. And we also have an attack bonus on the high ground in question. The Morita Hawkeye is uh, great for dispatching individual bugs, but not really good against the horde, so to speak. We also have a lot fewer clips in the magazine, so we have to rely on our ability to take down the priority targets. We'll leave the horde for everyone else with their Morita Mark 1s and stuff like that. For us, we uh, stay but stay out of range. We uh, pick off the high priority bugs that might actually go from behind and try not to miss that much. We can also put down some sensors that will tag bugs for our friends. We still require hits in the nerve stem, though. Well, we got bugs. In terms of design and feeling, the Merida Hawkeye, the basically the designated marksmanship rifle, of the uh, Deep Space Vanguard and the Mobile Infantry. It basically feels like the Hecklencock SL-8 in terms of design and general feeling. Basically, if you took the HNK SL-8 and just made it into a uh, bullpup. And yeah, stuff like the Gunner Bug and other things are easy targets for this rifle. Also, shooting things at range also... Oh, crap. Uh, gunner. We got him. We got a couple of gunners up there. We'll see if we can uh, cover our guy here. If you're carrying that shit, then you can do basically nothing. Besides, we can take this opportunity to refill our ammo. And take the high ground. You know what the high ground is good for, right? Yeah, the moment you're caught out of position, and I literally mean the moment you're caught out of position, uh, the bugs are going to kill you. It's not even a contest. They are going to kill you. Staying next, staying next to your mates is vital in this uh, in this game because you will. It's not like Hell Divers where ammunition and gear level is gonna help you. Uh, if you get caught out of position and the bugs get close to you, you're done for. That is basically guaranteed. Be advised, arachnid threat levels have risen. 
Orbital signal booster location has been designated. Secure the signal booster. Like I said, we have to go for the priority targets, if we can. Like the Royal Guard, which is a fucking pain to take down. Well, looks like someone else beat us to it. Thank God for that. I don't want to get close to that thing. Gonna pop a sensor to clear our backs. If Obi-Wan Kenobi played this game, he would be the sniper. I mean, the jetpack can give you instant high ground. And you're gonna need it. Fun fact, there are actually even better sniper rifles that are, have even slower rates of fire. Yeah, our targeting priority are targets further away that might be too much for the regular grunts to handle. Saying that as if I'm not a regular grunt myself. Also, fuck those kamikaze bugs, they are not fun. Well, from a gameplay point <coughs> of view, they are make perfect sense, and from a lore point of view, I know they're in the third movie and stuff like that. But, they will yeet at you, and then you die. Still no stim packs, but our HP is full, so we should be good. We'll advance to the next area. Yeah, as you can see, basically one hit later and we are down to 50, well done, 50 uh, HP. Speaking of shooting priority targets, sometimes the priority targets are not far away. Also, one thing you need to do is cover you, cover your mates because uh, if you get too separated, the mates might die, and that's just gonna waste your respawns. That said, we're not part of the class that's actually gon gonna be last. And you just neatly using the jetpack to slow the fall too. This is Pyre, Mobile HQ is transmitting and we have a fix on your location. Ark is en route. This is Vulture 1. I have a lock on your base location, inbound with the payload. Clear the drop zone. I wonder if we can get up there. It shouldn't be impossible, but it might also be tricky. Especially since it's not... Uh, uh, yeah, we got two minutes. Um, our main concern is going to be uh, getting uh, our reloads. Uh, because uh, we're gonna need the reloads. 
Also looks like someone got a carrier wave all across the attack, the attack channel. Well, Grim Wolf is up there, so I think we can probably try and get up there as well. Support our fellow sniper, right? Oh, someone put down a um, machine gun. Nice. Basically, everything you see here is built by the players. The players set up this base. The players design the layout of the base. Uh, the players with their skills put down uh, different turrets, ammunition, walls, stuff like that. And it's actually very fucking neat to see the, this mechanic because you, we're gonna need this shit. Not kidding, we are going to need this, and uh, yeah, he got up there, so uh, maybe we will as well, we'll see. Most likely we'll have to jump in stages, but uh, I can't really see a way up there. Uh, the jetpack recharge is basically just five, uh, basically just five seconds, so uh, you, you can risk it. I think we can get up there. We'll see. Arc has been fired. Data from the seismic pulse looks good. Expect a horde inbound to your location. ETA, now. Fuck, we missed. Oh well, we're safe here. We don't have uh, that good of an angle on the enemy, that, but. Uh, maybe there. <laughs> well, here's the ammo. Looks like they're coming from two main directions. Tiger, priority target, engage. The main firing line is taking care of the front. However, that means the rear is uh, not really all that well defended and we need to step up. I'm just gonna borrow this. Arc is reading 50% completion. Keep up the fight, troopers. The base is under attack in the eastern. And yeah, turrets need to be reloaded. And we got uh, bugs coming up our ass. Yeah, we got out of there just in time. I'm trying to get a bead on uh, the plasma bug, but I can't see it. Okay, 
Yeah, I feel a bit pressured since taking out that plasma bug is my responsibility. We don't have a bead on it, god damn it. No joy. Wait, there it is. Plasma bug, engage. Now, the thing you can't do is run towards extraction the moment they call it. Because right now most of our troops are still engaged. You'd think that means, oh, nice, since uh, everyone is engaged, uh, the enemy will be busy. No, they will absolutely eat your ass. Uh, that said, we got lucky with the respawn this time around. That's not far away. The problem is our ammunition. We might actually want to secure more ammunition before we go. And we got the sentry guns uh, doing their shit here. I think it's time to go. to help clear the area. It crawls. Opening is on the left side. I say again, opening is on the left. We should be good in approaching and getting out of there. We made it. But yeah, up up close, the horde is goddamn terrifying because you know they're gonna eat your ass. You know that if you're caught exposed or alone without your mates to cover your back, your six, uh, they're gonna get ya. They are definitely gonna get ya. And there's nothing more terrifying than just having that goddamn bug showing up. And it's also why the extraction here is so wonderful yeah, from a gameplay perspective. Like, you need to support each other because, uh, yeah, we got everyone. This little meter will tell us that we got everyone. 16 troopers made it. No killed in action. A great victory for the Federation. And this was just a normal... Uh, ...difficulty. I've tried this on hard difficulty, and yeah, that's usually worse. So a couple of updates for our sniper, nice!